Welcome back to Vault Hunters. In the last episode, we finally unlocked RF Tools storage. Yes, finally. So if everything goes according to plan today, this is hopefully going to be looking a lot differently. A lot differently? That, that doesn't sound right, but we're gonna roll with it. So to make this, we primarily need three things. The modular storage, the storage scanner, and storage modules. Now this is tier one. It can support up to 100 stacks. However, it would be nice if we can potentially upgrade it to tier two, which can support 200 stacks, but it is a little bit expensive, especially tier three storage. That's, yeah, that's, no, not gonna happen. But of course, before we dive into anything else, we need to check the soul shot shop just in case we got anything useful. We got perfect pain yet, eh, not read that great, Vault Axe, Seal of the Executioner, uh, but other than that, meh, not really that interesting. So it's time to get straight to business. I'm gonna start off with the modular storage, which is going to be the main item, for that we need redstone, we need nether quartz, we need a chest, and we need a machine frame, and for the machine frame we need perfect Larimar or Benyotite, a block of diamond, and two Larimar gems. We should have all of that. Uh, Maybe. Question is, do I have more Laramar than I have Benyotite? I actually think I do have more Laramar than I do have uh, Benyotite. So I think I'm gonna use the Laramar. We got a bunch of it in the last episode, which is great. And we should now, with that, be able to make a machine frame. And now I just need to rest on at the quartz and the chest. And just like that, we now have the modular storage, which when placed down, Oh wow, uh, okay, this is a lot. So this looks like we can have a list of recipes here. So I can add a recipe that I can store it somehow, that I can craft however, however many I want, and open manual, flat gradient, ooh, okay, uh, bevel, thick. I think thick. Open manual. The modular storage block is a powerful pass passive inventory that can store up to 500 stacks with the right storage module. All right, so the next thing we need to make is the first storage module, which is a chest, an iron, and perfect alexandrite, and again, perfect Laramar, or Benyotite, of course. However, I do have a fear with this that, yeah, we'll, we'll see. We're gonna craft this and we'll see how it goes. But I am fearing something here. All right, there we go, tier one storage module. And I guess place the module in the storage module slot, I guess. Huh? Okay, I didn't even realize this thing down here. So we need to access, so we need to input this tier one storage module right here. Okay, and then I lock it. So now it can't be taken out and we can put stuff into it. Awesome. Now the only downside with this that I currently see, if we just take all of this, this stuff from this chest and add it in, right? Which is barely anything. It only takes, oh, give me my ax back, thank you. It doesn't take that much storage. Like that was just one of my chests emptied and it's already half full. Now of course I can still search for it, so that is amazing, but it's not the storage solution I was hoping for. Also I realize now that this thing can be used without even using power. Well, that's good. Now, all hope is not lost just yet, because we do have a storage scanner, which says this machine will scan only of our inventories and show them in a list. I want to see what this then does. However, we do need another machine frame, so this actually is requiring quite a bit of uh, <laughs> Laramar and Benyotide, which I just got my hands on. So I may want to try and use Benyotide instead. So another machine frame, and then I think I do have more Benyotype type than I do Laramar. I'm going to convert these. 15, that is almost enough. There it is. Then I need some black opal. That's the first time I'm using black opal, I think. Now Ender Watcher, which is relatively easy, except for Biotite. The stronghold is right over here. A mod I should probably look into unlocking pretty soon is going to be waypoints because, yeah, it, it, it would be nice. And here we are. I haven't been here for a very long time, nor have I been here in a very, very long time. Oh wow, I even had this, but then I threw it. Well, time to gather a bunch of it. So it's basically like quartz, but at the end. Nice. A stack has been acquired. There we go. That was not as smooth as I wanted it to be. And back home we go. Yes. Two Ender Watchers. That actually really wasn't that expensive. 
And so now we should be able to make the storage scanner. So if I place this and then open it, oh dear, all routable inventories. I have no idea what any of this means. Oh, okay, so I increase the radius and I can see all of the chests and I can switch in between them. And I can go ahead and favorite them all, if I understand this correctly. I can even include brewing stands and furnaces. Oh wow, okay, this this item right here might be, this might be the thing, the thing. <laughs> even the pedestal. Okay, I'm only halfway through, but that should be enough. So if I go to all roundable inventories, I can see everything in said inventories and I can search for items. So if I go cobblestone, I get all the cobblestone within the radius of all the inventories that this thing can see. But for some reason I can't extract, but is that because you don't have power, I wonder. So if I just place you over here and it forgot all its settings, that's not good. So if I just take all of these, if I then give it power, then I am able to Oh, this is amazing, actually. <laughs> oh, I just wish there was an easier way of routing all these. But this is actually really workable. So if I want, let's say, emeralds. Oh, there we go. We got the emeralds. I can click. I can just shift click and it gets back in. I can shift click to get single items, which is awesome. Export to current con container. So if I search for, hmm, yeah, cobblestone. If I can get one item. And I think it automatically puts it back where I found it. This is, this is amazing. <laughs> this is really, really cool. I'm not so much impressed with this. I mean, it's nice if we want to store a specific thing. So that's, this is really good as well. But this thing is able to basically just give me basically a terminal window of every single storage area in a certain radius. Okay, that, this, this thing is awesome. Now, where do I then want this thing to be stored? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I guess a central place would be over there, but I guess another central place would be over here, near the pedestal and whatnot, where we'll be doing a bunch of, well, gathering for the, for the pedestal. So I guess if I take this, move it over here and add the storage scanner here, and I take this and put you over here, this still has all of the stuff. So this is still very usable. I'm not sure what I want to use this for, but I'm gonna empty it for now because I don't think I'm gonna waste it on storing quartz, but I definitely will want to use it for something. Let me know down below in the comments what you think I should be using this for. But now all roundable, I now need to go ahead and well, pick every single chest and there is a lot. I want to be able to access everything from this main terminal. Now, next thing I need to do, basically route power to all of it. Now I should mention as well, this is of course nowhere near the same as, you know, refined storage or applied logistics, but this is a really good starting point for us to be at before we are able to get like echo parks and stuff like that. All right, I'm almost at the end and then everything will have been turned routable. It does have a little bit of power in it and I do want to see how much power it actually takes to take out an item. So if I take out a stack, okay, so that uses 100 RF. So that's not too bad. So now I just need to route some power from there to here. And I guess the floor is the best way of doing so. If I remove this and then dig this out, run it in the middle of the floor and then up behind the wall, I suppose. Do we have, we do have facades, but that's for applied to logistics. I don't know if that's going to work. All of these are applied to logistics. Yeah, I don't think those are going to work, unfortunately. Uh, hmm. How then do I give this thing power without it looking ugly? <laughs> I mean, if I swapped them around, that would be an easy way of doing it, but I don't want to star all those again. You know what? It'll be fine. All right, but I only have two energy cables. That is not quite enough. One, two, three, there we go. So back here, I'm just gonna add this and then just gonna actually wait a minute. I don't think I can, no. <laughs> gotta go one further down. Add this here, drag all this all the way over. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh dear. Well, that's a problem. Uh, hmm. That is a 
bit of an issue that hmm, let's just block this off now there we go this should now have yes this has access to power awesome wait a minute what am i doing i can just boop 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 <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome! All right, now, solving one huge issue that we've had for a very long time, I have created... <laughs> I have created a bit of another. <laughs> uh, I, I, hmm. You know what? I don't mind this. It feels more like a, like a basement kind of thing. Hidden basement. I like it. Approved. So just like that, we now have digital storage. Kinda. It, it's still stored in the chest, you know, it's... So, actually, none of this is going to change <laughs> in this episode, but the way we're accessing it is going to be so much nicer. So, what's next? That's a good question. I know what's next. I need more vault ore, so I am going to go ahead and craft a rock here. I'm gonna see what we get. Sea pickles? Oh no, too sad. Oh no. Oh no, wait, wait, what? Old habits, you know what they say, old habits die hard, right? So, okay, I do have two saddles that, wait a minute, it said I had two. It said I had two. I don't have two. I'm sad. There we go. Next thing I need is glowstone. Three, four, three, four, three, four, boop, there we go. Awesome. This thing is amazing. Do I have sea pickles? No, I do not. I have pickaxes, but not sea pickles. That's fine. I do have puncture fruit, but I don't think that I have enough. Ah. <sighs> 36. And those eight is not going to cut it, I don't think. Ooh. Well, looks like I'm gonna have to go to the end again. But first, I am gonna need some bone meal. I need to go to this coral, which is right over here. How does this work? Eh, whatever. Just gonna take 11. 13. That should do. Now my only concern are purple blocks. Alright, in the end we are, and I just need to do this a couple of times. And a stack should hopefully be enough to complete the crystal. And there we go, that is the final purple block that we need to create the crystal. Now, I would love to turn this into something where I can get... Oh, lucky. And unlucky. What is that? <laughs> okay, simple is nice. In nerd, I'm not sure what does. Oh, 100% cooldown reduction. That's very much meh. Silent is really good if we are able to uh, get plentiful. Um, okay, uh, hmm. fast is that great, but I'm gonna do it, which will then re-roll the crystal, and I don't know why this is showing. So we got simple and trapped, extended and faster, <laughs> optimistic and freezing. That's not good. Well, I think I'll just be running this silent crystal, and I hope that we then get an all room or something like that. All right, here goes, I suppose. Silent and fast. All right. Let's, uh, let's go. We do need three obelisks. Ooh, we might be able to take out a boss fight here. I mean, we already have one obelisk found. And we got a city room. Okay, that's not half bad, actually. I'm gonna go ahead and check all these buildings for gilded chests, because that is not something that I wish to miss out on. And I find the easiest just running around like this, checking the buildings. There we go, and time to head downstairs. Bingo. Three vault diamonds in one? Wow. We're actually getting a lot of good loot here. Wait, let's do that and let us... Okay, I'm not sure where I came from. I guess we'll find out. Yep, I went the wrong way. Of course. Lava room. And it's the end. Okay, good. I'm not, I'm not gonna bother with it because, no, I don't like it. Uh, monster soul. Uh, well, looks like we got a spawner here, so that's not too bad. And there we go. Very much worth it. Ooh, an ender room. Okay, we might be able to get some vault ores here if we go down, of course. Uh, health points, that's gotta be painful, quite literally, because this is my final. You know what? I think I'll be fine. I think I will be fine, because the more I use dash, the more I'm going to heal. So if I just leave it like that, hopefully I'll be all right. All right, check for ores. Stuff like that. I'm gonna activate my magnet for this. One Larimar, perfect. Escalium, I'm pretty sure. Sparkle team. Nope, no mind. I don't know my ores anyway. Alright, back to where we started. Look at that combo. Nice. Oh, and we got a village room on our hands. That is not too bad. 
months or so, that should also be quite doable. You know what, I might loot this anyway, because there might sometimes be, yep, ores in here, which I definitely don't want to miss out on. And gilded chests, there we are, prison area. We got a second obelisk here. Definitely not fighting the, the boss in this room with that much TNT. Wait, what do we got here? Ooh, I re- I- uh, look at all that. I really, really want to get a key to one of those places. <laughs> it's so annoying, I really want one. But I haven't been getting what I need for it. Ah, no, not doing it here, that's for sure. We're gonna check the other branch. If I have to fight the boss, it better be on my turf. Okay, I haven't found... Oh, I have found another altar. Okay, uh, four minutes left. If I do it now and I mess it up, I do have time to escape. So, uh, brrr, okay, uh, hmm, okay, uh, <laughs> I'm panicking. Uh, I can run if I need to. Should I check real quick? Maybe that'll be worth it. No portal room. Nope. Let's just get to it. Execute at the ready. Eat power bar. Did that. Activate shaman. Okay, you're not taking a whole lot of damage here. Okay, okay. Nope, 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 nope. Get back. Get out, get out, get out. So, get out. <laughs> okay, that's not... Nope, that's not... I find I'm gonna win. Man, he's strong there. Okay, I think I got away. I, I'm not gonna... No. Uh, just drop that off. Place that here. Yep, back we go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was spooky. That was hmm, not one of the good times. No, that was. Uh, mm -mm. Well, let's see. I guess what we got, and we can do that right next to the story scanner because then I can just offload things into there. So we got some unidentified, some statues. Not too bad. All right, let's identify these first of all. Nope. There are some things that I still want to keep like separate so I can actually get to it. So the things like totems, I'll put them separately. Uh, bronze, painite gem, Larimar gem, netherite scrap, vault plating. Yeah, they're not that great. All right, statues, granite, good. Sand, good. Hardened stone, meh. SpaceX 12, don't need that, so I can put those in the cauldron. I can put these other ones back here to cover up my horrible uh, cable work. We've got 24 relic booster packs. No relics, unfortunately, but we do now have 15 mystery boxes. Eh, no pick rank. And for this, I can't be bothered. In you go. Got a bunch of ores, which is really good. We actually got a bunch of Laramar ore from that, so that I will not complain about at all. And everything else can go where they belong, so I should be able to just basically do this, and it should work, I think. Yep, I think it's just a bit glitchy sometimes. So hopefully I shouldn't see vault burgers anywhere else, but yep, right here. Sweet. Oh, we could actually go ahead and make some more burgers here because we got a stack of everything another stack of vault burgers awesome look at that we have three stacks and a half <laughs> and you know what i think for celebration i think i'm gonna eat a bunch to get to level 44. <laughs> level 44 acquired Ooh, no less shell i should have that though yes i have plenty of those so that is awesome farm working wonders as always and there we go crystal complete now this one, unless I get something really, really good, which, ooh, rich, hold on a minute, hold on, hold on, hold on. Three times chance for vault ores, however, plus 30 volt difficulty, I don't care. <laughs> okay, uh, we got optimistic, withering, silent, slowed, hunger, simple, and furious. What does furious do? Mob steel plus 50% damage in this vault, however, I can lower the vault difficulty by a little bit. Ah, uh, sure. I'm gonna I'm gonna make some I'm gonna make something weird here. Slow hunger. I'm not gonna do that. Okay, yeah, this crystal is actually not too bad for mining anyway. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right, here we go. This is gonna be interesting. Rich, hot, simple, and furious. And I'm hoping that none of that is going to come back and bite me in the butt. 
Let's go. Now, of course, this crystal is only going to be really good if we can actually manage to find vault ores or runes that should generate vault ores. So that will be critical for us to actually take effect of this rich modifier. Oh, hello, B. Goodbye, me. I need to try and not get hit too much because uh, they do they do hit quite a bit. Oh, and a village room. <laughs> I registered in my mind. I just didn't say it. Uh, that's going to be a lot of mobs, though. Oh, dear. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. This is easy. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I need to kill that creeper. Please don't go up. Okay, you blew up. That's fine. I just, I just want this. I just wanted that. That's all I wanted. Yes. Uh oh. Yeah, that's a lot going on here. That's a lot going on. Get up. Ten minutes down. Haven't really found that much vault or stuff. Which is a bit unfortunate. Ow. <gasps> yes! Find. Oh. Finally! We actually got one. Okay, I am going to spend. A oh dear me. Oh dear me. Oh dear me. Oh dear me. Okay. This could be problematic. Okay. I need to scan every single one of these in order to see if there's anything useful. I'm gonna activate my magnet as well for this. Yes, yes, look at this, look at this, look at this. This is all I wanted. I see Gorgonite as well. <gasps> echo, echo, echo thing, echo thing, echo thing, echo thing. Yes, please. Go away. Where is it? Where is it? Give. I got it. A lot more Benutite over here. I don't know. I don't remember what this one is called. Oh no, I threw my axe. I threw my axe. Where is it? Where is it? Give me. Okay. okay. Did I completely empty this place, I wonder? I think I have almost. Good. Am I missing anything? I feel like I'm missing something from my inventory. Don't think I am, though. Nice. That was a huge discovery. Still got 10 minutes left. Hopefully, imagine if we find another one. That would be great. But uh, I'm happy with the one. Uh, of all time, sure, I'll sacrifice some of that. Yes, definitely worth it. Eight star essence. That's almost one star shard. All right. 30 seconds left. Final kill. Ooh, vault diamond. That was definitely worth the 10 seconds. All right. Let us head through. This is our loot. And honestly, that's actually not looking too bad. And this guy is selling mystery boxes. Then the right scrap for vault brass. We got an unidentified vault sword that I'm really interested in. A flask of regret for thorns chance. Two unidentified totems. A statue generating SpaceX 14. Not interested in that. A Pandora's box. Four mystery boxes and four relic booster packs. Not bad at all. I'm gonna open the relic booster packs. Nothing. Mystery box. Eh, nothing. Pandora's box. This is going to be interesting. Ooh. Five old burgers. Okay, I'll take it. Now let's identify the sword. Hopefully, it's good. Because I could use a new weapon. And... Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's one of the better swords I've gotten in terms of damage. Plus it has a level. I mean, this only has one level as well. Which I haven't even upgraded. Why haven't I upgraded that? Uh, I mean, I can repair this because it has leech and I do want to keep that. So I should look into doing that. Um, hmm. I mean, if we just take sharpness five, that would increase it to 10.8. I mean, that's not as strong as this with sharpness five. But what would the level be? It's a baby. I'll need to think about it, but it's a baby. Epic? Not that good, though. Well, I guess attack speed is there and it does have four level slots. So, I mean, that's not too bad. That's a potentially good one. Withering cloud, nothing and nothing. Yeah, meh. Now, the rest, we got a bunch of ores. Most importantly, I think we got an echo ore, a fun soid ore, a gorgonite ore and a bunch of benutite and larimar as well to stock up our storage. Done. But with that, I am afraid that we are out of video time for today. However, it was very productive because we now have digital storage. In between episodes, I'm going to do some reorganization here with the chests because, well, I have some ideas and I guess you'll have to see in the next episode because if I explain it, two minutes are gonna go by and no one will probably be able to make any sense of my rambling. So yeah, stay tuned for next episode for an update on that. But like I said, that's gonna be it. Really hope you have enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to leave it a like, share it with a friend, subscribe 
subscribe if you're brand new and if you do subscribe while watching this video let me know down below in the comments i would love to welcome you to the channel in person but that's it hope you enjoyed and i hope to see you in the next episode have a wonderful day and goodbye